Seneca's stoic lessons transform my life, and they can do the same for you in 2024. Hey everyone! Today I want to share with you 15 super important lessons from Seneca, a stoic philosopher. These lessons can help you get better at anything you do, no matter what life throws at you. Seneca believed that by understanding and applying these principles, we could navigate the complexities of life with resilience, purpose, and wisdom. So, let's dive in. Life is not meant to be easy. In fact, it is through challenge that we truly discover ourselves. Seeking out challenges, pushing beyond our comfort zones is not about recklessness, but about calculated risk and the pursuit of growth. When we confront difficulty, we learn what we are truly made of. Think of historical figures who faced immense challenges and emerged stronger. Their stories inspire us to embrace our own struggles. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Embrace it and you will unlock your best self. You are, to a large degree, the product of your environment. The people you surround yourself with, the ideas you expose yourself to, they shape your very being. Choose your influences carefully. Seek out those who embody the virtues you admire, those who challenge you to become a better version of yourself. Remember, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Surround yourself with positivity, wisdom, and inspiration. Your influences can elevate your life or hold you back. Choose wisely. Life is a chaotic whirlwind of events, both good and bad. You can't control the world, but you can control your response. This is where your true power lies. Are you going to be a victim of circumstance or a master of your own fate? Take a moment to breathe and reflect. Write down your thoughts and feelings. Decide how you want to respond. Then move forward with confidence. In the face of endless options and distractions, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. Ask yourself, what are the fundamental principles that guide your life? What brings you meaning and purpose? Reflect deeply on these questions. Once you've identified these, ruthlessly cut away the superfluous. Say yes to the essential and no to the distractions that clutter your path to a meaningful life. Embrace what truly matters and let go of the rest. To be a master of yourself is to be in command of your actions, your emotions, and your decisions. This is not about suppressing your feelings, but about understanding them, integrating them, and choosing how you will respond. Self-mastery is a lifelong pursuit, a constant process of refining your character, honing your discipline, and striving to become the best version of yourself. It involves practices like meditation, mindfulness, and journaling to gain deeper insights into your inner world. Set clear goals, celebrate your milestones, and recognize your progress along the way. Time, ladies and gentlemen, it's the one non-renewable resource, more valuable than gold, more fleeting than youth. You squander it at your peril. Seneca knew this, and so should you. Treat your time as the precious commodity it is. Be vigilant against distractions, those soul-sucking vampires of attention. Guard your schedule, prioritize what matters. Remember, time wasted is life wasted. Take moments to reflect and recharge. Set boundaries to protect your time. Use your time wisely, and you'll unlock your best self. You want to be strong, you want to be resilient, you want to be capable, then embrace the hard things in life. Don't shy away from difficulty. Lean into it. Struggle is the forge where your character is tempered. It's where you find out what you're truly made of. So choose the path of challenge. It's the path of growth. Remember, every step you take in the face of adversity builds your strength. Embrace the struggle, for it is the crucible of greatness. And in the end, you'll find that the hard things were the most rewarding. Now, 
There's something profoundly true about helping others. It's not just altruism, although that's no small thing. It's about expanding your own sense of self-worth. When you make another person's life better, you make the world better. And that, my friends, is a recipe for meaning, for purpose, for genuine happiness. By lifting others, you lift yourself. It's a cycle of positivity that enriches everyone involved. So, strive to make others better and watch how it transforms your own life. This is the essence of true fulfillment. Gratitude, you see, it's not just some feel-good sentiment. It's a potent antidote to the chaos of existence. When you focus on what you're grateful for, it's like a muscle you're developing, a muscle that pulls you away from the abyss of resentment and bitterness. Cultivate gratitude daily, and you'll find yourself less burdened by life's inevitable trials, more resilient in the face of suffering. Don't take the good in your life for granted. Acknowledge it, appreciate it, let it nourish your soul. Start a gratitude journal. Each day, jot down three things you're thankful for. Share your gratitude with others. Expressing thanks can strengthen your relationships. Meditate on gratitude. Let it be a part of your mindfulness practice. The more you practice gratitude, the more you'll find to be grateful for. The world is a complex and ever-changing place. To navigate it successfully, to truly thrive, you must commit yourself to continuous learning. This isn't just about acquiring knowledge, though that's certainly important. It's about expanding your horizons, challenging your assumptions, and refining your understanding of yourself and the world around you. Embrace the unknown, explore new ideas, and never stop asking questions. In the pursuit of knowledge, you'll find the path to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Continuous learning isn't confined to formal education. It's about being curious and open-minded in everyday life. Whether it's through reading, conversations, or new experiences, every moment is an opportunity to learn. So embrace the journey of lifelong learning and let it guide you to a richer, more enlightened existence. Now, vulnerability, it's often mistaken for weakness. But let me tell you, vulnerability is not weakness. Vulnerability is the bedrock of courage, the starting point for any real growth. To be vulnerable is to be open, to expose your true self, to risk the sting of rejection. But in that risk, there's an immense potential for connection, for intimacy, for a depth of experience that the perpetually guarded will never know. Vulnerability allows us to reflect deeply, to learn from our experiences and to build empathy by sharing our stories. It helps us form bonds that are genuine and lasting. Dare to be vulnerable, dare to be seen, and you'll unlock the strength that comes from authentic human connection. Life is suffering. That's not a pessimistic statement. It's a fundamental truth. We will face hardship, loss, and the unexpected. But within these trials lies the potential for growth. Like a muscle that grows stronger through resistance, your character is forged in the fires of adversity. Embrace the challenges, learn from your failures, and emerge more resilient, more capable than before. Each setback is an opportunity to build mental and emotional fortitude. Remember, resilience is not just about bouncing back, but about growing stronger with each challenge faced. In the quiet moments of introspection, we confront our deepest selves. Daily reflection is not merely a passive activity. It is an active process of self-examination and course correction. By taking the time to consciously review our actions, thoughts, and emotions, we gain clarity. This clarity allows us to identify what is serving us, what is holding us back, and ultimately, who we are striving to become. Reflection is an art that requires patience and dedication. By journaling our thoughts, we can track our progress and growth over time. Incorporating meditative practices can deepen our understanding and connection with ourselves. Setting goals during reflection helps us to stay focused and motivated. Celebrating our achievements, no matter how small, reinforces positive behavior and encourages continuous improvement. The world can be a cruel and unforgiving place. It will test you. It will put you through trials and tribulations. That's a given, but you don't have to be a victim of circumstance. Cultivating a robust mindset, one that can withstand the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, 
is a necessity. It's not about being happy clappy or naively optimistic. It's about staring unflinchingly into the abyss and saying, no, not today. Developing this mindset requires daily practice and reflection. Engage with wisdom from the past, like Seneca's teachings, to fortify your mind. Physical wellness also plays a crucial role in mental resilience. Set clear goals and celebrate small victories along the way. Surround yourself with a supportive community to uplift and encourage you. Remember, a robust mindset is your shield against life's inevitable storms. What do you stand for? What are your fundamental principles? Take a moment to reflect on what truly matters to you. If you don't know, you're adrift in a chaotic sea. Your values are your compass. They are the guiding principles that lead you through the darkness. When your actions and your values are in alignment, you experience a sense of peace, of wholeness. You are no longer at war with yourself. Living in alignment with your values means making choices that reflect your true self. It means standing firm in your beliefs, even when it's difficult. It means being consistent in your actions and finding fulfillment in living authentically. This is the path to true happiness and inner peace. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope these principles from Seneca help you like they help me. If you found value in these principles, please like and subscribe for more content.